So today I thought I would do a vlog. I haven't done one in forever. My aim was to do a vlog every day of the lockdown and obviously we're in week seven now, so I totally have not been doing that. Um, I thought I'd vlog my flower delivery today. This is my second flower delivery from Freddy's Flowers. I was really pleased with my first delivery two weeks ago. They have just gone in the bin, so they've lasted a really long time. Um, so yeah, we'll open this box and we'll see what we've got. If I can get in. There we go. So as you can see, they're all wrapped up in there. And there's a picture here of what they should look like. That's really nice. I'll show you there. There we go. So, um, a spoonful of sugar is what the bunch is called. Um, okay, let me get the scissors. Right. So, I think I should have a list of what I have got in my box. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, I think this time I might follow the step by step. When I got my first delivery last week, I didn't follow the steps of how to put them in. I just went for it because I just thought, yeah, put them in there. And they actually looked quite nice to be fair, but this time I think I might follow the steps. So we've got um, a rose with soft pastel swirls. So there's three of those. So it says to, to take them out of the box and arrange them in your vase. So first of all, I need to see which vase I need. Um, it doesn't actually say on this one, I don't think. No, not that. I don't know. Choose the right shape. Well, they've kind of got quite a, a narrow top there. So I think I might go over the same vase I used for my first set, which is this one. So it's wide at the front, around the bottom, sorry, and narrow at the top. So we'll go with that one, I think. Put, put that there, you might be able to see that when I'm putting them in. So the roses are at the bottom, okay. Here we are. That looks a bit dead, so I'm just going to pull that bit off, I think. Right, we're going to trim these. But first of all, I'm actually going to put water in my bowl. The water should be um, a room temperature water, so not cold and not too hot. So I'm just going to fill that up now with some water. Get the right temperature. water in there and then the food should be somewhere here. There we go. So I'm going to stick this flower food in. There it goes. And then I'm going to take about an inch off with scissors. Okay, right, so there's one. Now it's telling me sort of pattern to put them in. So we're gonna go for like a triangle, hopefully. Another one. I mean, they can't really stand like that, but. Oh well. And number three. Okay, so that's a triangle there. And then we are going to put in the, oh my god, how do you say that? Um, Alstrom, Alstrom Maria? No idea, but okay. 
I'm presuming, because there's two of those and there's two of them here. So that must be that stuff. I think something like this actually came, came last week. Okay, so step two, face them on the opposite side of each other. The stems will create a structural grid for the middle of your arrangement. So, with this sugary pops of colour, this amazing flower, also called Lily of the Incas, is native to South America and grows all over Inca ruins. They last for yonks. So you can put them down and pop them, oh, cut them down, sorry, you can cut them down and pop them in a jar after a few days. So I'm presuming once everything else has died, these are still going to be going quite strong. Hmm, they're going to look quite nice actually. Let me bring them a bit closer. Quite sweet. So I'm going to take off the ends of these. And I'm putting them in. One in there. And then one in there by the looks of it. So those are in, and then we have got snapdragons. So stand your taller snapdragons in the even triangle a little more centrally using the grid for support. So I have three of those. So, mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure I had something similar to this last week, but they were pink. Um, so I'm going to trim those off. It says these are taller, so stand your taller snapdragons in even triangle. In an even triangle, so <laughs> I'm going to put one there. No, that can't be right. Really? Are they supposed to be that tall? Oh no, they are supposed to be really tall. That just looks funny. One's at the front. Two. Oh well, let's just go with it, shall we? Let's see. I could always rearrange them if it looks crap. One there. And then maybe one there, I think. Get my hair out. I wonder if you're too... Let's bring it back a little bit, shall we? Yeah, that might be a bit better, actually, for you then. Okay, so we've got them in. Um, I might turn the vase, depending on them. There we go. Right, let's see how it looks at the end. Okay, and then we have... Aster. God, I might be saying these completely wrong, okay? So don't take it from me, because I have no idea Aster. That's what it looks like anyway. Okay, so fill up the middle of your arrangement with your wild stems. Right, so these should look like daisies apparently. So this is, this is them here. Okay, so they look quite wild actually. I'm going to trim the bottoms of these off. Oh my god, if I can. There we go. And these are going in the centre. Definitely centre. Yeah, okay, so. Ah. Oh my gosh. Right. One there. And the other there. Okay. And then the last ones. So these are alums. Alums, possibly. Finish by dotting your lollipop shape alums throughout. So they've put these into like a triangle again. Ooh. Oh, they're quirky, aren't they? 
Aren't they different? They are really, really long. But I'll just snip the ends on. And then we're going to put one in the front. One there. Are they too long? Are they too long? Do I need to take off a little bit more? Oh, I don't know. Looking by the picture, they're a little bit smaller. So maybe if I snip them a little bit more, I think. Because they're quite long. Let's take a little bit more off. That's not going to hurt. Okay, so I think that is that done. Not sure. I've not left anything in that box. And that's here we go. Not done too bad, I don't think. Oh, this one's moved. Too bad. I might move them around maybe, I don't know. I'll trim them more. They don't look like that though in the picture. Never mind, maybe you can you know give me some advice there. 